Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking you through some recent workwear favourites. So we are smack bang in the middle of winter in my part of the world. And so I thought I would share with you the pieces that I have been reaching for the most in recent months during this colder season. These are the things that have been adorning my body or have been holding my possessions as I have been heading into the office. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'm going to split this video up into clothing and then accessories. And so let's get cracking. First up, probably my most commonly featured base layer in all of my cold weather outfits, whether it be for the office or for the weekend, and it has to be a merino knit top. Now I've got about five different merino knit tops in my wardrobe. I've got them in five different colors, black, chocolate, vanilla, a taupe color, and my merino knit of choice is from Arquette, which I have constantly featured and spoken about on my YouTube channel. Now the style that I have from Arquette, I've had in my wardrobe now for the best part of two years, and I'm not entirely sure whether the style is currently available at the moment. I mean, if it is, I will of course link it, but I will also link some other options for you as well, because there are a heap of brands that also recognize the power of merino knit but in terms of autumn winter go-to's and must-haves a merino knit is at the top of my list now my next workwear favorite is a style that I have only really recently embraced because back in the day I would have attributed this to old lady style or grandma style and it's a good old-fashioned cardigan I have three to show you that have been on high rotation the first is the same style that I have in two different colors it is the Suzanne Betty cardigan I have this in the ecru navy stripe with these metallic buttons and I also have it in this really joyful yellow color this has been a more recent addition to my wardrobe now both of these cardigans are made from 100% merino wool as you can see there is a bit of a theme with this video I treat this more as an outerwear piece but I have worn this as a top before but it is a more weightier weave making it more appropriate as a jacket and then the third cardigan is this style from The Fold. It's in a really classic navy. In fact, the Suzanne Betty cardigan comes in a navy, which is very similar to this. But this one differs slightly from the Betty cardigan because it has more of a textural component to it, which means that when I'm wearing my all navy outfits or my minimal sort of neutral outfits, then I can add some texture and some interest. So I really like this cardigan for that reason. It's also very cute and very ladylike as well. And I tend to wear it completely buttoned up. So yeah, I've been really enjoying the aesthetic of cardigans. They're preppy, they're feminine, they're a little bit fun. Let's shove that there, I will fold that later. The next piece of clothing that I wanted to talk about is a white shirt, which is an opportune time to hear from the sponsor of today's video. I'm really excited to share that Power of My People is a sponsor of today's video. Power of My People is a considered label from Canada, specializing in responsibly handcrafting shirts for your curated wardrobe. Shirts are how they started and they do an amazing job at them. They only use high quality fabrics derived from natural fibers, sourced from countries with ethical manufacturing standards like France and Australia. And all their pieces are made in Canada. They spent a long time developing two different fits for their shirts. There's the proper fit, which is a classic straight fit with refined proportions, and the wayward fit, which is a looser fit featuring drop shoulders and added length. From these two silhouettes, there are a heap of different options available. From short sleeve, long sleeve, a host of different fabrics. I'm currently wearing their tailor shirt and it's in their crisp true white color, and it's cut to their proper fit silhouette. And as you can see, I have styled it a lot for both the office as well as when I'm off duty. It's one of their best selling styles and I can certainly see why. The fabric is top notch and it's one of the things that struck me immediately when I received the shirt. The cotton feels just so luxe and so premium. Now, Power of My People have provided me with a discount code to share with you guys. You can use Virginia 10 for 10% off. Thanks to Power of My People for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. And we're back. And how do you like my shirt? Now this shirt also features in my most recently worn favorites. When it comes to white shirts, this is probably one of the best quality white shirts that I've ever added to my wardrobe. The fabric is really premium. It's made of 100% cotton, but it's considerably and noticeably weighty. And so one of my biggest bugbears with wearing shirts, particularly ones of the cheaper variety, is the fact that they're so prone to creases and wrinkles. Whereas the fabric of this one being so weighty, it doesn't really facilitate that. Now another bugbear of mine, probably 
probably one of the bigger ones, is just how stuffy shirts can feel and then look as a result. Button up shirts have a tendency of looking quite old school and daggy, particularly if you haven't paid attention to the right fit. But there's a really easy fix for that, for them to look sophisticated and chic. And it's a matter of just sizing up, making sure that you're not, you know, too stuffy in your shirt. And so I deliberately sized up to a medium in this shirt and I've rolled up the sleeves somewhat and I just think that it looks really timeless and modern. Now my next workwear favourite, one that I think that you will certainly recognise if you've been following me on Instagram for some time. I feature these pants a lot recently and it is these wide leg trousers here from The Fold. I have them in the navy as well as the white and both of these are made from The Fold's iconic Clever Crepe fabric. Now the Clever Crepe fabric, which I have spoken about a few times on my channel as well as over on the blog, it is a really smart workwear fabric which is is really travel friendly, it doesn't crease, it is machine washable. So it's just one of those low maintenance, hard working fabrics that is ideal if you work in an office environment, particularly a more traditional office environment. Now, I really have been loving these trousers because of the wide leg silhouette, particularly because these are the only two wide leg trousers that I have in my wardrobe in a sea of many slim and straight cut pants that I have. This silhouette has offered a real freshness and newness to my wardrobe that I just have really been embracing lately. I think that they're also really quite stylish and they're high waisted, so they're flattering and they're really easy to style. Now my next workwear favourite, which I haven't just limited to wearing to the office, I've also worn it a lot off duty as well. It is my coat from The Curated. This is their London style coat, which I have in their newer chocolate colour. And you'll recognise this style as the same style that I have in navy as well. And I have to say that the London coat is probably my favourite coat style from The Curated. It very much is reflecting my current vibe with the way that I'm dressing. Relaxed tailoring, I love it's boxy oversized cut but it also looks incredibly chic and there's a belt here as well so you can cinch in your waist if you want to look a little bit dressier. But this chocolate colour has been a real welcome addition to my wardrobe and I think it can be best described as a mix of grey and a mix of brown. But it pairs really well with the existing neutrals that I have in my wardrobe. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of coats from The Curated. I have a dedicated video where I share a review of the coats and the styles that I have. This one is no different. It's made of 30% cashmere and 70% merino wool, and so it feels really luxe. And the fabric composition actually has more cashmere in it than, say, a typical Max Mara coat as well, but it's a fraction of the price. As you will see from all of the cutaways, I have managed to style this coat in many different looks and so it is incredibly versatile. I've received a lot of comments as well when I've worn this coat, so I just think it's one of those standout pieces, just really luxe, really premium, very sophisticated and stylish. I've really enjoyed wearing this coat very, very much. And I have a really cozy and luxurious knit now to share with you. This is the cashmere turtleneck knit from The Curated, and this is in their chestnut brown color. I wanted to say espresso brown. Everything that's colored brown is always called chocolate or something delicious, cocoa, coffee, mocha. But this one is a chestnut brown. And I have this one in a size extra, extra small, but it is a rather relaxed and oversized cut, which is how all your knits should be anyway. I probably could have gone with an extra small as well, but I'm very happy with the extra, extra small anyway, which is probably equivalent of an Australian size six. Now, this is obviously a no-brainer for why I love wearing it to the office. It obviously keeps me warm. It's really luxurious. It's in a muted tone, so very work appropriate. And it's just a really stylish piece. The colour pairs really well with all of the existing neutrals in my wardrobe. And I don't just exclusively wear this to the office. I wear this off duty as well because I love wardrobe items that do double duty like that. But I also have more of a casual dress code to the office as well. It's smart cash. This is up there with one of my favourite knits in my wardrobe. It is a newer addition to my wardrobe. I've only added it in recent weeks but I have worn it so many times since I received it so I would highly recommend five stars okay so that closes off the clothing category so let's move on to shoes and bags for shoes I have two styles that I'm going to talk you through that have been my most reach for most worn styles for the office the first is ankle boots and I'm sure you can take a stab as to the style that I'm going to feature first. It's these 
Ira Williams boots, which I've had now in my wardrobe for a few years and I love them. I love them so much. They're so comfortable. They're so durable. I have got a review of these on the blog. They were an investment, but I consider these to be worth every single penny and they're very comfortable as well with a five centimeter block heel. The style that I have is the Lady Yearling style and I tried on a heap of different styles in order to settle on this one and I've got zero regrets. Anytime anyone asks me which style should they go for, I always say it's this one. This one is the perfect balance between dressy and casual and I also wear these on weekends as well. I can walk ages in these even though they've got a heel but it's super comfortable. Chestnut brown Aaron Williams boots definitely a winner for me. Another style of ankle boots that I've also been reaching for quite a bit um, are a pair of ankle boots from Ally Shoes. This is called the ankle boot because Ally Shoes only have one style. They took a long time to perfect this. These are a super comfy pair of heeled boots. I think the heel is, I think, seven and a half centimeters or eight centimeters. And it's got all of this padding and arch support and a toe bed, a wider toe box. They are an incredibly comfortable heeled boot. After my Aaron Williams boots, these are my second comfiest pair of heeled boots and I think that's saying a lot as well because heels correct me if I'm wrong I don't think they were designed to keep your feet particularly happy however I'm happy to report that my feet are very happy in these and in my Aaron Williams boots while I'm boxing these up I also have a review of the ally ankle boots on my blog as well I've got reviews of both of these styles that is something that I like being able to say about a lot of things that I feature check my mug I've got a review on it Another favourite style of shoe that I've been wearing to the office quite a bit is a pair of low block heels. These are from Ally Shoes. I have featured Ally Shoes a lot recently in videos because they are a new to me brand as of this year and their shoes are hands down the comfiest heels that I've ever added to my wardrobe which is why I'm constantly sharing them. But these have the same features that I shared in the ankle boots. They've got the arch support which I guess you can see now. They've got uh, a toe bed so your toes are resting on this really lovely heavenly plush pillow of goodness. And these have a five centimeter here, which make these a lot more comfortable and walkable and a rubber sole as well. I really love this garnet color that I've got because it's like a statement shoe, but also a little bit muted. It's not a fire engine red, which I also love and welcome in, you know, other contexts, depending on what I'm wearing. But this has been a really lovely cold weather shade. So. Very comfy, very stylish, it just it ticks all the boxes for me. And lastly, I wanted to talk you through some of my most used bags recently, as well as introduce you to a new bag style. Let's kick things off with a bag that has been featuring a lot in my reels. It is a bag that I think a lot of you are acquainted with now. It is the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack, which I have featured many times, even in my YouTube videos, particularly in my work bag roundups. This was the very first work backpack that I ever bought. It's a bougie one and I added this to my wardrobe over a year ago and I continue to really love it. I have this clip here as well that I use to clip my cap or my Kubra hat and it just means that the hat isn't squished, it doesn't lose its shape and it means that everything just fits in my bag. I'm not a crazy bag lady anymore. Everything just fits inside the bag. I've got my laptop, I've got my active wear that I change into when I'm walking home, I've got additional space for groceries as well that I pick up for dinner that night. This bag just fits everything and I think that it's just got a really lovely minimal look about it. So remains a favourite. The next bag that I have to share with you is also another backpack that I have worn quite a bit recently. It is also from Melroy and it is their Venture Ready Backpack. So this has more of an outdoorsy sort of a functional look about it. It is not as urban looking as this one. This is more sort of an outdoorsy looking bag. But this one has so many more features than my Tokyo Tote Pack. It's actually really quite fun to wear. I've taken this bag on hikes as well, day hikes, because it's a lot more functional and it's even got a sternum strap which makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. So in terms of comfort, I actually find this one more comfortable to wear, which I prefer to wear when I'm walking home. But I did want to show you one nifty thing about it, and that is that the zips are designed to open up so you can access and see everything in your bag really easily. So it's got a dedicated laptop area, which fits up to a 16 inch laptop, and then like a tablet section, and then just 
all these compartments which just makes it just so easy to pack. This bag was sent to me by Bellroy. They reached out to me after I had been featuring their Tokyo tote bag so much and so I was so excited and I picked this because I do love a hike as you guys know and I've really been enjoying wearing this one to work as well. I have had this now in my wardrobe for a couple of months if not a few months. It's really functional, it's really smart looking though and it still conforms to the minimal aesthetic that I like with my accessories. So yeah, would highly recommend their Venture Ready backpack as well. And the last bag that I have to share with you, which is new to my wardrobe as well as to the world, I haven't actually worn it either because it's still got its tags on it, but I wanted to share it with you because it is a new release from Bellroy. It's called their Via Work Pack. And as you can see, it's a more minimal and streamlined version of a tote pack because it's got that tote pack design. You can wear it as a tote using the top handles and you can also wear it as a backpack. But in comparison to the Tokyo tote pack, which I'll hold up here, it just is a little bit more pared back as you can see. And so by the time this video goes up, this bag will be available for sale. And so I wanted to share that with you there just so that you could see a side-by-side -side comparison. In terms of device size, this actually fits up to a 16 inch laptop. And I actually have a 16 inch MacBook that I have tested this in and it fits really well. If you don't carry as much with you to work, then this is perfect for that purpose, but it also fits all of the things that you need. So your laptop, your tablet, or your chargers, all of that jazz but it looks just very nice and minimal, as you can see there. Looking forward to giving this one a whirl soon, and I'm sure by the time I put this video up, I will have had a chance to wear it. Anyway, that is the new Bellroy Via Work Pack. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this roundup of my autumn winter workwear favorites. I will make sure that I have everything linked in the description section below, as well as my sizing information and any discount codes if I've got any, so you can have a bit of a click and a browse and a read and a bit of a mull of the things that I have featured in this video. Meanwhile, if you are new to me, then I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed to my channel so that we could hang out a little bit more. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.